Want to see what a family of six spends on groceries in a month? Well, let me show you. I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving, and if you're new here, welcome. If you love grocery hauls, give me a thumbs up right now because that is what I love to share, especially grocery hauls on a budget. I realize prices are going up, but I am here to show you that you can feed your family well and stock up on groceries all on a budget. I shop for a family of six in Northern Indiana using those prices, and we have a monthly $475 budget, and that includes everything. That includes our food, our toiletries, paper products, anything that we're gonna buy is included in that number. Now, my trips look different every week, and I do share those every Thursday, kind of give you high, um, the overviews of what the best deals are for the week and some tips and things that you can stock up on. So if you want lots of details, be sure to tune in every week for those. But then at the end of the month, I do this video, and I kind of, it's a highlight reel, I call it, so you can see every trip all together. And for those of you who are curious exactly what we eat with some of these eclectic trips, I have our menu for the month too so stay tuned at the end and I'll show you that after the groceries but all right let's get to it lots of different hauls this month we were coming back from vacation getting ready from school we are back into school so there was a lot going on in August but here's the biggest news are you ready for this as of August we are officially done with diapers in our family this is huge for us Caleb potty trained right when we got back from vacation so he could start preschool this year and it went very smoothly and I was so thankful for that but this is huge because literally for 10 years I have been buying diapers for our family as part of our grocery budget I have always done it on our grocery budget before my son was born our first son Nathan who's now in fourth grade I had stockpiled a bunch of diapers and actually I pretty much got his whole year of diapers for under a hundred dollars I have a whole blog post about how I did that and the deals have changed over the years but for the next 10 years really since before he was born I have had one or two in diapers for 10 years I've been doing diapers and we are done so I am super excited about that which means that gives me some extra money every month by this point with Caleb I was just pretty much one box of diapers when Kroger had a good deal every couple months I would stock up um, that's my favorite place to buy the diapers it heads up when they would do their um, spend 40 get $10 off I buy the big boxes of Kroger diapers and that did very well for us um, so that's how I've been doing it recently but I'm excited because we don't have to do that anymore and we are he's totally out of diapers day and night so it's amazing I have some diapers that I'll donate to our local crisis pregnancy center um, left over but yeah that's our most exciting news and that will definitely impact our budget so you won't see any more diapers in this haul and that is pretty exciting because like I said, it gives me a little more room to play around with our budget. All right, let's get to it. Before you get started, you'll see the date for every trip. I'll show you that total in a light teal box. And then after each trip, I'll show the running total for the month in um, a gray box and just follow along and you'll see how we go throughout the month. And I'll meet you right back here in a minute and we'll talk about that and I'll show you menus. So let's get to it. I went in for the brisket and the cheese. Cheese was the weekly deal, clip the digital coupon. It's $4.99 for two pounds, an amazing price. So I wanted to stock up, grab that. Brisket was also on sale. Normally it's $5.99 a pound. Look, this would have cost, it's not focusing, $86 for this brisket. And it was $2.99 a pound. So yeah, I saved 43, that was a really good price. So went ahead, like I said, and stocked up. My We have a smoker now and my husband really wants to try doing brisket. So I bought one. And then um, grapes, it said, were on sale for $1.49. They didn't ring up. They were ringing up as $2.99. So I had her void them. She couldn't adjust it because it was a, per a weighted item, she said. Okay, that's fine. They also gave my kids four free balloons. So it was a lot was going on here. <laughs> when I was trying to do this, the kids were all helping me. They had balloons. It was a lot. Found notebook paper. It was $1.29. It's been out at our Walmarts and they needed wide ruled. So I went ahead and grabbed that today. And then because I was checking on the grapes and things, this was supposed to be buy one, get one free. It's $5.99 a bottle. The free one did not come off. So we're going to the dentist this afternoon. I'm going to run back in and get a refund or return both bottles. I will adjust my price next week. I'll have that credited into the total. Um, so I'm going to give you my full price from Kroger 
was 7036 for these couple things. August 9th, I headed back to Kroger to stock up on all the sales. Every single thing on this counter that you see was on sale or clearance. Never pay full price if you can help it. Stocked up on eggs for $1.49. The Greek yogurt was my favorite deal of the week. It was $2.49 for the four packs, which normally it's like $4.49. So that was a great savings. Stocked up on five of those. Five peach cups for $1.99 for school lunches. Pack of squeezable yogurt, $5.49 for 12 pouches. So like $1.83 for a four count box, which is a great price. If I can get it under two now, I'm happy. Wipes, these facial makeup wipes were $1.49 a package. Bananas were actually 29 cents a pound, which that was exciting. I got some more ground pork. It was $1.49 a pound. Great cheap protein. Stick that in the freezer. I'll just freeze that in packages just like that. Each package is about a, um, a pound and a half right there. So sticking that aside. Um, croutons were 89 cents. Apples were 99 cents a pound, so grabbed about five pounds of gala apples. Cheese was three for five, um, so I stocked up. Obviously did that deal four times, $20 worth of cheese, but it lasts a while. I'll just stick it in the freezer, so we are restocked on that. I had a coupon for a free jar of peanut butter, so made sure I grabbed that. And then I stumbled across some clearance for 31 cents. I grabbed these ice cream mix. It's a Dutch chocolate, and all I have to do is either add milk and whipping cream, or I can just do it with milk. But for 31 cents, we have a homemade ice cream maker. We are definitely gonna try that. And then, it was obviously a chocolate day, but you can't pass up when you find Ghirardelli's on clearance, $2, normally $4.49. And look, double chocolate, that looks delicious. So grab two of those there. For everything on this counter, I spent today at Kroger $73.98, but I'm going to go ahead and subtract. I had a refund from last week. I returned that detergent that didn't come off on sale, so I'm going to subtract $12.82, which was what I got for the returns. Always watch your receipt and do those returns if you need to because it adds up. So that takes this trip down to $61.16. Just subtracting it from this point here and that will take my total now for the month so far in the gray box to $131.52. Not a bad start to August. August 15th I went to Aldi and did some restocking up on staples and things we needed for our pantry as well as some other baking ingredients. So I grabbed blueberries for $1.99. Fabulous price. We'll eat some and freeze some for later. Grab grapes for 99 cents a pound, also a great price. Eggs were $1.25 a dozen. I just keep stocking up now that they're finally <laughs> a lower price. We hard boil them. I fry them for myself in the morning for breakfast. We just have been eating lots of eggs and baking. Milk was $2.45. Restocked some canola oil for making popcorn and things, so that was $3.09. Cocoa has gone up, but it's still cheaper than the other stores, $2.45. And did you know that cocoa really unsweetened cocoa when it's just cocoa powder does actually not expire it's one of the few things there's a couple baking ingredients baking cocoa um, honey salt those things do not expire so if you have those sitting around you're good for a long time grab chocolate chips for $1.99 and needed the mini ones these are still 12 ounce bags start paying attention because I'm noticing more and more some are starting to shrink sizes on chocolate chips too which will adjust your recipes or your recipes are just going to have less chocolate and really who wants that so cucumber 95 cents need that for the salad and then like i had said the other week i always try to restock in twos so i'm stocked up for the pantry two syrups two ketchups sweetened condensed milk black beans gamonzo beans one mayo and one oats there 315 for the mayo 345 for the oats bag of chips some whipping cream to make homemade ice cream two cottage cheeses and four cream cheese, feta cheese, a loaf of bread. It's up to like $1.29 for the cheapest bread there. And then grabbed a big thing actually of Oreos at Aldi making a chocolate chip cheesecake. And this larger package of name brand Oreos actually worked out to be the same price per ounce for the generic. So went ahead and grabbed that. And then five little chocolate bars for my kids to take to their teachers on the first day of school. So for this counter full of groceries here, the total was $94.96. And we'll go ahead and add the total was $94 add that to our running total for the month of August.
August 16th, I went into Kroger after the first day of school in the afternoon to pick up the weekly deals. There were some good deals going on. Cheese was $2.99 a block. Great time to stock up. Bacon was $3.99. Jif peanut butter was $1.49, which was a great price. That's way cheaper than even generic now. So I bought eight jars, getting ahead of my peanut butter for lunches and baking. Applesauce $1.99. The pouches were $5.99 for 12 pouches, so that was a good deal. Pringles $1.49. The Fruit Loops $1.99, plus I get one free book when I turn in my receipt, so that made it a really good deal. My son found, saw Goldfish, my three year old, so $1.49 for those. Mac and cheese for 75 cents. This really is a good generic, even though it's a little more than like the Aldi or Walmart, but it's very good for mac and cheese. And then my favorite deal were these Kleenex boxes. So it was six boxes and there was a promo, get $10 off. So it ended up being $5.99 for six boxes. So a dollar a box, great stock up price. And I was super excited to find that deal. So for everything on this counter here at Kroger today, I spent $63.11. And we'll add that to our running total now for August. August 18th, I got an Amazon order of groceries today and toiletries. Yes, toiletries come out of my monthly budget as well. So I don't often do this, but when you get to five items on Amazon, you can get a 15% discount on your subscribe and save. It's 5% first for the first couple, and when you get to five, they bump it up to 15%. So every once in a while I do it. I have a whole blog article about that and I'll leave that in the link to the description because it can be a great way, like, way to score some deals on groceries. So this month I got the refried beans. It was a 12 count box on sale with a 25% off digital coupon. Yes, Amazon does occasionally have coupons on things too. And the 15% discount. So those refried beans cost me 1083 which works out to 90 cents a can, which is a fabulous deal because even generic are a dollar now at Walmart. Then same thing, taco seasoning, it was on sale. There was a 15% coupon and it came out to 418 after my subscribe and save discount. So 41 cents a pouch, which again, fabulous deal to put aside. My kids love these Lara bars and I do too. <laughs> the peanut butter and chocolate chip with after my discount, it was 1048 for 20 bars. So. A little bit of a fun splurge for that. I need a contact solution. This is almost $10 a bottle. I wear gas permeable, so this is what I have to use. The two pack though, after the discounts came out to $17.25, so a better deal than buying it at Walmart. And then to get me to my fifth item, I bought the cleaner, which I did need anyways, so that was $8.62. So for these things on the counter, I spent $51.36 at Amazon. And we'll add that to our monthly total now in the gray box for August. August 23rd, I went into Kroger to get the sales of this week and there were some really good ones again. I just can't pass up those sales. So let's start over here. I got milk for $1.29 a half gallon. Cheaper to buy it this way than the full gallon. So definitely did it this way. Diced peaches were $1.99, limit five. Grabbed all five. Same with the milk, limit five. I got Simply Lemonade for 99 cents and needed a fifth item to round out. They didn't have any more lemonade, so grabbed this Oikos yogurt for $2.99. Cheaper to buy a four pack than the individual cups there. Two bags of chips, $1.99. Smaller size, but price per ounce, they were almost exactly the same size as the larger bags, which were out. Most excited about store-bought bread deal, it's 99 cents a loaf, freezes great. My kids love this for Uncrustables. So there's 13 servings, which is two slices. That means I can get 13 Uncrustables out of a loaf. And that's three of my kids like peanut butter and jelly. My daughter, Emma, just likes cheese. So this is going to be a lifesaver for the coming weeks. Just something easy and fun they love and pretty frugal. So I will keep one loaf out and I will freeze the rest for that. Great deal to stock up. And then peanut butter was 99 cents. Grab more to add to the shelf. I know I bought more, but it lasts a long time. I use a lot with baking and it's always a great item to donate to a food pantry at that price too. We have the petite potatoes, which were $1.99 for 1.5 pound bag. And then I grabbed a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes for $7.49. Hard to pay that much, but it was cheaper than Walmart and Sam's. So went ahead and grabbed it there. But onions, three pounds for $2.79. And then one of the other weekly deals was a new mop, which I did need. It was actually $7.99 
Normally it's $16.99. It was on sale for $9.99 and then the weekly deal took it to $7.99. And this is exactly the kind I've been using and that I needed. So it was a perfect timing on that deal. So for everything on this counter here, I spent $54.32. And we'll add that to my total for August. August 24th, I had to run into Walmart to get Caleb some socks. And while I was there, I grabbed a large thing of sour cream and cottage cheese. They were both, um, let's see, it was $4.98 for cottage cheese and $4.64 for the sour cream. So these are the large um, three pound containers here of each of those. So that was $9.62. And we'll add that to our running total for the month of August. August 28th, I went into Meyer because it's their Labor Day meat sales where it's not marked on the packages, but it's buy one, get one free. So I wanted to do that. I know I was getting close to the end of my budget, but that was the reason I went in. So 569, so divide by two, you know, if you think half price, so it was 284 a pound, which you know, it's not as good as the sales we've seen, but it's obviously better than paying five sixty nine a pound. So went ahead and did that twice. I always try to find packages that match, and this was pretty close there. And then I did it again here. I do have some meat already, hamburger, in my freezer, so I'm debating how much to stock up. Stay tuned, and we'll see if I'm buying more in August or into September. But while I was there doing that, I also grabbed, they have a buy five, get a dollar off. So that made the wheat checks were $2.29. Plus I had a dollar off coupon, a digital coupon that also came off. So that took it down right to about um, $1.99 a box. Great price. Two crafts, those were $1.99. The ranch dressing needed those. Um, I had a dollar off three of enchilada sauce. It's $1.99 a can, but that's the same price as Walmart. It was totally out, so grabbed some of those for enchilada casserole. Grabbed a head of lettuce, I think $1.60.50 for that, and then grapes were $0.99 cents a pound, so that was a great deal. So for this total at Meyer, I spent $50.11, and you'll see that there in the teal box, and let's add that to my running total for the month of August. You can see I am almost out of my monthly $475 budget, so let's see how I finish out the month here. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> This was not my original ending. This was not the total. I was editing these videos. It's Labor Day to get them up and posted for you. And I realized I made a huge mistake. I can't believe this. This is a huge frugal blogger fail. I've been recording groceries like this for years and I've been sharing hauls with you, but I shared this haul in one of my weekly hauls but I forgot to add it in my total. I had a Sam's trip, which was at the very beginning of August. I went on a Sunday after church. I shared it on a weekly haul, but for some reason I never put it on my list. So when I was adding things throughout this month and keeping my running total, it wasn't there. So I thought I was under budget. I thought I had spent $467.69, but that was wrong. I actually went on this Sam's trip and that total was $83.21. I had bought, um, it's on the weekly hauls, but I had bought 24 boxes of tissues. I had bought some shredded cheese, some pork chops, um, quinoa, and just a couple other things when I was at the store. And I just never added that trip on, so I can't believe it. And there was a part of me that goes, well, maybe I just skip it, but nope, I'm being totally honest with you all. You're all trying to stay on a budget and so am I. So of course I had to confess that to you all here that I goofed this month. So instead of sneaking in just under budget like I thought I was, I actually am quite over budget. My total for August was actually $550.90. So I was $75 over budget instead of the $8 under budget, which I thought I was. If I had had that trip in there, I obviously would have adjusted my shopping throughout the month, but I just totally forgot. So, so sorry about that. Um, it happens to the best of us. So I looked back at the totals and thought, does this mean I need to address my budget? Um, 
so far in the eight months of the year, I have been over budget three times and the other five months I've been under budget. So as we go into September, I'm going to try to balance it out and really stay under budget by quite a bit. It might be a challenge, um, but that's my plan and we'll revisit this if I'm adjusting my budget or not. So stay tuned for that. But there's my total for the month, but I promised that I would show you my video or my menus for the week in the whole month of August. So let's go ahead and jump to that and then I'll wrap it up here for you. Nothing fancy, but this was our August menu. So I'll just go through them quickly. You're gonna see lots of repeats. We start out the month with a baseball game. We ate $2 concessions at that game, fun night out. We had enchilada casserole, pork chops on the grill, boneless pork chops from Sam's, so good on our grill. Hosted all the teachers from our school. I did taco bar and some desserts. Everyone else brought things that night. Leftovers the next day on Saturday, always a regular in our rotation. Rotisserie chicken from Sam's after church on that Sunday. Tacos and nachos, sloppy joes, pasta. Kids love pasta. It's quick and easy when I need a meal. Leftovers, grilled chicken and corn on the cob. Hamburgers, again, another staple you'll see here a lot. Nachos, kids love nachos, and so it tends to be a Sunday night dinner. Sometimes it's lunch, but nachos were in there. We packed our dinner that day and ate at school because it was school registration. Poppy seed chicken and made a chocolate chip cheesecake for dessert as we said goodbye to some college students who had been living with us for the summer. Leftovers because it was the first day of school here and I was exhausted after heading back to school and teaching. Cheesy chicken and then the end of the first week I had my husband pick up Papa John's pizza because, whew, yes, teaching is tiring. Then that day I hosted book club in the afternoon and so for dinner that night with the kids I just did kind of a charcuterie snack tray and we kind of did snack things there. Next day, the kids had you know, went with my husband to a neighboring church with friends and did a church picnic after our church, so they ate there, and then we did nachos that night for dinner. Meatballs and corn on the cob, spaghetti, enchilada casserole, pork chops, leftovers again. Sc our school picnic there, we had grilled hot dogs and brought desserts, so I brought mini individual s'mores, so good. Love those, I'll leave a recipe on the links. Pasta here, easy. BLTs and corn on the cob. We had been getting fresh corn on the cob from a local farmer recently, and so we ate it, yes, quite a bit this month. I think my girls are tired of it, but my son still loves it, and it's been really good corn. So that's coming to an end, but we've been enjoying it. Hamburgers and fries. This is why I store lots of hamburger patties in my freezer. If you haven't caught that freezer inventory video, you can see what I have and why I do that tacos and then leftover as a quick dinner so we could head back to school for my daughter's string concert that night. So that was what we ate in August. Nothing fancy. All of these things and just have very simple sides. You know, I'll put a fresh fruit or a vegetable or something canned or frozen with it. Um, you know, we just eat simple meals and we're okay with the repetition, but that is what we ate in August. Okay, so I hope that helps you. I hope that helps you to see everything that I bought. Yes, I know the trips are eclectic and it doesn't all look like it makes sense, but you can see we're eating pretty typical meals using those shopping trips, some things I was using during the week, some I was adding to the pantry, some I was adding into the freezer. By shopping ahead, shopping the sales, it is the reason I am able to keep my budget so low. Now, with inflation coming, I really am feeling coming. It's here, it's been here for years, but it just keeps hitting us and we just keep seeing those prices. That's the problem with inflation, it goes up, but then the prices don't drop again, so they just keep creeping up. I get it, it's a challenge. So I personally am feeling the urge to really build up my stockpile again. We've been eating a lot from it this summer and I've been rotating through things, but I feel like I need to spend some more time focusing on that. So if you're curious how I stockpile and what I'm gonna add in this next month, be sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned and I will have another highlight reel for you next month. Um, until then, be sure to join me on Thursdays for that weekly haul with more details and that way you can see the deals as they're live, especially if you have a Kroger or one of those near you. That's where I love to shop up on stock up on sales. So you will definitely wanna check it out, but it's just, Fun if you like to see what other people are buying and get curious like that. I love sharing with you. So 
Thank you all for joining me here today. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.